The GAC family has really taken off in this last year, but behind all those festive movies are secrets that run real deep. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Gabby with Binge Now. Today we're here to spill the tea and bring you five big secrets from the GAC family network that you may not have heard yet. So grab your snacks and get ready to dive deeper. At number one, we have something that's on everyone's minds. What is it exactly between GAC and Hallmark? This was the very first controversy that surfaced with the renewed birth of GAC Media. We're talking about specifically why Bill Abbott, the former president and CEO of Crown Media, left the Hallmark channel and ventured into GAC family. As you know, Hallmark movies were known for spreading Christmas cheer for years, and the most significant man responsible for it left the network quite abruptly. This move left several fans with hundreds of questions. Bill Abbott joined the company as its executive vice president of advertising sales and was the CEO and the president of Crown Media for more than a decade. He was a massive part of the success of Hallmark until he left the company in January of 2020. His exit was announced by Hallmark Cards after a controversial scandal. Abbott left a month after Hallmark Channel faced massive backlash from the public for airing an ad in December of 2019. If you haven't seen the ad yet, here it is. Do you think Zola could have made planning your perfect wedding easier? We do. No, I do. <laughs> We've helped a million couples plan their weddings. After the ad went up, some of the conservative audience criticized the channel for airing an ad that was supposedly not family friendly. When the ad was pulled, Hallmark was at the receiving end of a bigger outcry. They were then scrutinized for their lack of diversity and LGBTQ plus representation. Here's what some of those tweets look like. Ellen DeGeneres tweeted saying this, isn't it almost 2020? And Pete Buttigieg even responded to it. And Legend of the Seeker actress Bridget Regan too called out Hallmark and tweeted this, the network eventually put it back on air and even issued a statement of apology. The reputation of the brand took a hard hit after the scandal broke out. Months later, Mike Perry, CEO of Hallmark Cards, announced the departure of Abbott and wished him nothing but the best. Seems a little suspicious, doesn't it? The announcement left many fans wondering if he actually chose to leave or if he was actually fired for mishandling the controversy. The company then appointed Wanya Lucas as its new CEO and president. The previous TV one executive turned brand manager for CNN is committed to making her new media company as diverse as possible. While Lucas took over Abbott's place, Abbott made himself another. What started like just another channel with a similar theme is now soon growing into a competent rival. Just take a look at the number of stars moving from Hallmark to GAC family. Is it because they are loyal to Abbott or is it because GAC is way more promising than Hallmark? One way or another, we now know that GAC is here to stay. Moving on to the next big secret, at number two, we're talking about a film that was a huge hit with fans. It is none other than Much Ado About Christmas. The movie is a retake of a Shakespearean play which is a total classic and features Torrance Coombs and Susie Abramite as the leads. The He's holiday movie great. is about Abramite's character Haley Lloyd, who is before. tired of the numerous suitors that call in on her and only want her for her fame. But things change when she meets the charming Claude. I was just on my way out and I realized the chances are slim that our paths will cross again. But if you were to give me your number... I would love that. She falls for him, but hides a few important facts, and with that puts her beautiful romance at risk. Here's what she had to say about her first movie with the GAC Family Network. And so she sort of starts this, like, oh, I'm just not going to tell him about, you know, like this whole other side of my life, you know, in the hopes that uh, he can love her for, for who she really is. The lies pile up after all. The actress, along with her co-star Torrance, sat down for a little behind the scenes and interviews on set. Abramite talked about how the movie had some similarities to her own life. Maybe it isn't all glitter and glam in the star's life. Take a look at what she had to say. There have been parallels in my own life to Haley, wanting to please everybody. Delivery for my amazing volunteers. The actress was an incredibly successful tennis player and even received a full paid scholarship at Duke University. Since then, she rose to fame in Marvel's Jessica Jones, where she plays a character called Pam. I don't like ultimatums. I know. 
looks like finding love after all was more difficult than she ever imagined. Her character in the movie seems similar to the actress as she too goes out of her way to please her loved ones and that can definitely take a toll on one's mind. The actress could easily pull from her life to play from that role. You know, things just keep piling up and piling up. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, re it's like real life. It's reality. <laughs> it's, it's reality. It's just Everyone like watching really your own family. Watching just your Fall whole life unfold. On the holidays. Yeah. She then went on to say, Well, no, 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 there's just awkward things just seem to happen to me like that all the time. I'll just say, like, at the worst timing and tact, and I'll just say the thing, I'll just put my foot in my mouth. While Abramai did have her chance at love, not once, not twice, but thrice, she, however, has chosen to remain quiet about her romantic relationships. We assume she is single and available. Moving on, at number three, we have Danica McKellar's move to GAC from Hallmark. Now most of you might already know that our favorite girl from the Wonder Years has moved to GAC, but the reason why will leave you in shock. McKellar has been around Hallmark for 15 movies, which is a lot, and so when she announced her departure from the network in late 2021, fans were shocked to say the least. Well, now we know that she wasn't the first to leave, but for someone as popular as her to desert Hallmark seemed a little unsettling. She made her debut on Hallmark seven years ago in 2015 in the movie Perfect Match alongside Paul Green and was a fan favorite since then. You here for the lady? I ain't here for the mashed potatoes. Okay, that's enough. Bed by nine and no soda. Wow. <sighs> Treat her right. You'll be hearing from me. <laughs> Her last movie with the Hallmark Channel was You, Me, and the Christmas Tree, which was released in 2021 and might be the last one for the foreseeable future. I'm a third generation New Englander. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Don't say a word. I would never. I'm a fourth generation Connecticutian, so. Bill Abbott is leaving no stone unturned to make sure he ropes in the best. And that's exactly what he achieved by offering McKellar something that she could not deny, a chance to be a writer and producer. And this, in addition to a four picture deal, how could she possibly refuse? In interviews when asked about her move, she had nothing bad to say about her former network, except that she had gotten a better deal, which is absolutely true. Fortunately for McKellar fans, she already has several movies lined up. She made her GAC family debut in the movie, A Winter Palace, which premiered on January 8th, 2022, alongside Neil Bledsoe, who is also a former Hallmark veteran. And keeping burglars away? Do I look like a burglar? Maybe. A, a well-dressed one. <sighs> look, I'm gonna make a call. Really, I am very tired and there is so much to do, so perhaps you can start us some tea. The actress is absolutely thrilled to be joining the network, and here's what she has to say about her new deal. I'm more involved in these movies than I ever have been before, and it's so creatively satisfying. Several stars are moving to GAC Family, and this makes us wonder what's really going on behind the scenes. Maybe we will find out the real dirt soon enough. Meanwhile, on to number four, we're talking about everyone's favorite, Trevor Donovan. Donovan is one among the many stars that made the shift from Hallmark to GAC Family, and fans around the world never saw it coming. The handsome hunk has been a part of 11 Hallmark movies, and fans just couldn't get enough. So it's safe to say everyone was shocked when he announced his exit from Hallmark. In October 2021, he announced his exit and signed a deal with GAC Family that allowed him to star in and produce films, and no surprise for guessing, he was more than happy to sign the deal. His last movie with the network was Nantucket Noel, which aired in 2021, and this may be one of the last ones for Hallmark with him. Nantucket Lighthouse. You said it was a special spot for your mom. Thank you. Donovan was a huge fan of Bill Abbott, the former CEO and president of Hallmark Movies, and had a lot of nice things to say about him. He talked about what his relationship with Hallmark was like. So since his departure from Hallmark, I really kept my fingers crossed that he was going to transition what he's been doing at Hallmark to somewhere else. He found GAC, acquired Great American Country Channel. So um, I've been really excited to get going on this. Um, since signing the deal, he debuted on GAC Family Network in the movie Jingle Bell Princess in 2021, which was his first ever royal movie. Seriously, how has he not done one before? I'm excited about it. It's my first royal type movie I've done, even though I'm not playing Prince, I'm playing a commoner. And it just does not stop there. Donovan has also done Aloha with Love, which aired in 2022 and was a massive hit with the audience. Absolutely beautiful. We are talking about this 
house, right? In case you missed it, the actor is a huge dog lover and tries to incorporate dogs into the movies he works in. For those of you who didn't know, Donovan is a huge advocate for anti-bullying and has been vocal about it for years. In his interview with the Must Watch show, he talked about the impact social media has on bullying and how it impacts young children. He wanted to set an example for them and use his voice to amplify the message. He even visited a school assembly to talk about it. There's so much negativity in the social media platforms and stuff. You, you have the potential to, to bring so much positivity. Um, and so I kind of wanted to be an example of that. He firmly believes in anti-bullying and his faith in this is what drove him to leave Hallmark Channel and move on to GAC Family instead. In the interview, he said the pandemic had put a hold on him, being able to spread the message. But since joining GAC Family, he decided to visit more schools. I, I would like to visit as many schools as I possibly can, even incorporate schools in the towns where I'm shooting movies. You know, mm -hmm. uh, A lot of exciting stuff this year and um, I can't wait to, to get going on it. Donovan was ready for a new chapter of life and knew that taking a stand against bullying was the best way to set an example for the youngsters. So does this give away more than it should? Does his move from Hallmark have something to do with bullying? Was Donovan feeling bullied by Hallmark? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And finally, at number one, we are talking about the GAC movie, A Christmas Miracle for Daisy, and its amazing lead stars. The movie aired on December of 2021 and stars the one and only Jill Wagner and everyone's dreamboat, Nick Bateman. When we worked together, it went well. 100% correct. So this uh, past relationship, Water under the bridge. Ancient history. She's the best designer I've ever worked with. What? In an interview with GAC's family, CEO Bill Abbott, Wagner spoke about how this was one of their favorite movies that she has ever done. And here's why. This one is going to be my favorite, I think, forever because I've dedicated this one to my my little baby girl because her name happens to be Daisy. So I've I, I have a special connection with this one. Did you know Wagner started shooting for the movie just three weeks after giving birth to her little girl in August of 2021? She is definitely a superstar for doing that one. Uh, but she just gave birth three weeks ago. And I go, <laughs> sorry, what'd you say? She's like, yeah. three weeks ago, she just gave birth. I'm like, when asked about why she chose to be away from her newborn baby, she told Abbott about how she would do anything for her children and if being away from them for a little while meant they could have a better life, then she was willing to do it. I'm doing this for them and I would do anything for them. So if it means I have to go away and mommy has to go away and work, then you got to do it. You know, you got to put your head down and barrel through it and, you know, know that you'll see them soon. So. Wagner also had a funny story to share with Nick Bateman, her co-star, and Abbott. Apparently, she had no idea who Nick Bateman was. Can you imagine? She had never seen any of his movies or modeling campaigns, and in the interview, she talked about how she had never heard of him until her girlfriend sent her text messages talking about this heartthrob on Instagram and how he has a cute dog. The combination of this little dog and him, it was like magic. Nick, you, it was just like lightning in a bottle. And so I knew about Nick a long time ago. And well, just... that's all we have for today, guys. Which one of these secrets shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to show some love to our channel by smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel. Until next time.